So we have a Garador uh, GDO-9V2 Gen 2 garage door opener, which is only a year old, but it is, as we found, non-compatible with Homelink. Even though it's got a learn button, which is that door code one, we tried everything to get it Homelink working but no joy. So I did some research and found this Homelink PR433-4, which is a uh, universal two-channel receiver, but it's branded by Homelink, which is why I went with this one. So it comes in this box along with some instructions, everything you need. So it works by interrupting the signal or creating a signal from the door push button which is those two white wires there installation is really simple you just take off your opening and closing button undo the button and then what you see is underneath what I've done because I've already done it is I've just taken the wires put a fork uh, on there, uh, put them both together and then screw them back in. So this white wire is the new one, the black ones are the original ones which continue to follow, I've not done anything to those. Meanwhile the new the new wire, I've just just literally taped it so far because I haven't finished the proper installation but as you can see just goes along, goes through there, goes into channel A of the box. Then you just wire in the transformer which is just plugged in there above the thing. So that's the installation done. And you'll notice I haven't been anywhere near the car yet. So if you go now into your home link, we'll set up a new one, call it test, and then you go into the drop down go to UR mode and then the set mode button and then it's saying to go and now and learn so we'll put, go and push go and push the learn button on the receiver which is this button here little red light comes on and we go back to the car push continue and now it's sending the signal and it's complete so push continue and then we'll test it and there we go save and then you set up your all your other bits and bobs while you're there so well, that's it. And then we'll open it again. And that's all there is to it. So since I took the first video, I've actually reconnected the wire up closer up there. So it's no longer attached uh, to the push button. It just goes across there and into there. But the good thing about all this is of course, Everything else still works when you're finished.